my friends. It's time for the children's message. So at this point, I'd invite you all to come forward. So why don't you come and sit in front of your screen and we can have the children's message together. So the first question I'll ask you, like I always do, is how are you today? Are you doing okay? We know that we're thinking about you and we're keeping you in our prayers. So let's think about the message today. We're going to talk about blindness and Jesus um, healing a man who was blind. But have you ever thought about what it would be like to be blind where you couldn't see? That'd be kind of funny, wouldn't it? So this morning, if you guys had been with us, I would ask you to help me. We're going to go for a walk. But I think Rebecca's here with me this tonight. And so she's going to help take me on a walk. But first, Pastor John has to put a blindfold on me so I will be blind and so I can't see. So maybe you could try this later. Put a blindfold on so I can't see. He's getting me all tied up. This feels almost as funny as not seeing you. But now I can picture you. So, Rebecca, are you here? Yes. Where are you? I'm here. Pastor John's going to come and follow us. So, so Rebecca's going to help me up. Then we're going to go for a walk. So she has to lead me because I can't see. So she has to tell me where we're going. And I have to trust that she's going to take good care of me and not walk me into the wall. Or the piano. Or the piano. <laughs> are you helping me, Rebecca? Yes, I'm helping. So I have to trust. I hear a door. Where is it? Okay. Just walk and speak. Talk, Rebecca. Tell me what I'm doing. I'm gonna go through another door. Okay, is it open? Take her blindfold off for her. Sure. Just take it right off, Rebecca. Okay, we made it. That was really scary because I didn't know where I was and I couldn't feel where I was. But I had to trust that Rebecca was guiding me in the right way, didn't I? So, what do we do when we get? are in the blindness and we're scared. We have to trust in God, don't we? We have to trust that Jesus is surrounding us and Jesus is leading us. And Jesus is the one holding our hand as we go forward. So that's what I need you to do this week. You need to, even though when we feel scared or lonely or unsure of ourselves, we need to know that Jesus is always with us and he's surrounding us with his love and he's holding on to us and guiding us just like Rebecca was holding me and guiding me. So remember, Jesus is with you this week, and maybe during the week sometime, if you find somebody who's scared and lonely, you could be their guide, even if you can't really physically touch them. Maybe you can give them a call, or you can um, send them an email, or you can 
write a letter so that they too don't feel lonely and they feel that God is surrounding them. So that's what I want you to do this week. Remember that God is always with you and he's surrounding you and he'll never let you go. We'll see you next week.